Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. A um, couple of things here. We have um, Deron Bland, who has a stress fracture in his foot, will have surgery, of course, um, to go ahead and take care of that. He's scheduled to be out six to eight weeks, would, which would be during the hardest schedule, at least on paper at the moment, the worst part of our schedule where we've got some real big games to play. Um, Jerry Jones, who I don't know about you guys, but at some point I, I am just... <sighs> I, I, okay, let me be clear. I love the Dallas Cowboys. I love the stadium that Jerry Jones has built. I loved him literally making us America's team and giving me plenty of content. But I'm tired of Jerry Jones being the general manager and the guy that they go to whenever we have a problem on the team with players and stuff because – he is making things even worse. If he had just never said, we're going all in, if he had just, it would have made life so much easier for us Cowboy fans because it just constantly keeps getting thrown back in our face. I get it. You're running a business and you are winning. You are worth over $10 billion, but you literally make us fans and us YouTubers literally the laughing stock. And when we go through a season like this, I, I'm at the point where I literally just want to uh, say, Shut the fuck up. Shut all the way the fuck up until you reach the top of Shut Fuck Mountain where there are no more fuck ups to shut. That's what you honestly feel like saying when you hear stuff. So a few minutes ago, per Calvin Watkins, Jerry Jones, if the Cowboys will look for another cornerback... Not at all, not in any way, no. Not at all, not in any way, no. Remember when he said we were going all in? Here's where I have to say, that everything should be crashing in on Jerry Jones right now. When you look at the Cowboys season, and, and you have to give the Cowboys credit for finding talent where other people have not found talent, okay? Where you find USFL. The fact that you find found our kicker who is literally lights out. I've never seen anybody kick like he has. He must have lead in his foot or something. I, I don't know what it is, but it's incredible. When you think about finding a starting tackle with Terrence Steele, who's an undrafted free agent, and hell, finding Dak Prescott or, or being lucky that Dak Prescott fell into their lap. Because you could look at a team like the Cleveland Browns that have been drafting quarterbacks in the first round or Washington Commanders that have been drafting quarterbacks in the first round that you, they don't have anybody, anybody near the caliber of a Dak Prescott. And this is what really drives you crazy is you are good enough to compete, but not good enough to win at all. And it's because you end up doing so many stupid things. And here's the thing when you've got, and, and again, Jerry Jones, I keep falling for it, is just the guy who does the talking. He's over here doing all the stuff that's pissing you the hell off and making you go through all emotions. But it's actually Stephen Jones over here with his, you know, cheap personality, a cheap, uh, you know, uh, spending, who's always going to find a, a cheaper way to do things. And, and you sit here and it drives you crazy because let's be clear here. You guys traded for Trey Lance because you thought it was going to be a bargaining chip for Dak Prescott that Dak Prescott would feel the heat of Trey Lance, that you literally like, well, we can walk away from you. Dak, you're going to give us a good deal. Well, I hate to tell you all, that sucks. Trey Lance is very, very raw, and maybe he'll be a capable quarterback somewhere down the road, but you're going to take a lot of lumps, guys. You know, if you're thinking that, hey, 
we got a dual threat. I'm not even sure it's a dual threat right now because some of those passes are so high, the interceptions and everything else. And people, of course, literally, well, you know, two of those interceptions weren't his fault. Bro, the interception with the Jacksonville Jaguars, where it's literally a perfect pass in Noah Brown's hand. Ain't nobody saying that wasn't Dak Prescott's fault. Oh, Dak Prescott lost the game, pick six. It's like, bro, tip the ball up. Right now, Jerry Jones, you are a laughing stock. You are a laughing stock. Or if you're a Cowboy fan, you're literally making us cry. You got Trey Lance instead of having that fourth round pick where you could have gotten yourself a starting running back. The running backs didn't start going off the board till the fourth round. You could have had one of the top ones right there for the pick that you spent on Trey Lance. And mind you, Trey Lance isn't even signed past this year. And now you have played him all preseason. And if Cooper Rush, I, I, I think Cooper Rush is still a backup quarterback. If Cooper Rush has to play, he's only gotten two series in the, in the season, in the preseason. That's it. <sighs> And you've gone through, and you can't even get C.D. Lamb's contract done. Where, literally, we're two weeks away from the season started, and your number one weapon, you're sitting there screwing around. It's not like you don't know what the market is. I don't understand why you're waiting at this point. C.D. has literally said, I'm waiting for a phone call. I'm literally waiting for a call. And you're not doing it. And if you honestly believe, any of you out there that believe that Trey Lance is the answer or that we can just go out there and just draft a guy and automatically he's going to be as good as Dak Prescott, slap yourself. Slap yourself. Jerry, the problems we have fall on you and Stephen Jones. You should have had C.D. Lamb's contract done in time for him to be here for training camp. You should have never traded for Trey Lance with a fourth-round draft pick. You should have drafted a running back. And you, I hope, you're just bullshitting us and saying that you're not looking for a cornerback just in case. The problem is when we lose players, and we do, we don't have players to replace them if we're going through with cornerback like we did linebacker last year then you are a self-fulfilling prophecy of blowing it up because when you lose a guy that is the time you start to try and replace them not in the middle of the season when there's nothing but toaster leavings (sighs) not at all not in any way no as far as another cornerback. Yeah, good people. Have a great day. And uh, I'll see y'all soon. Peace.